guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while but I'm back today with Testing Basics. Sort of fell out of love with it for a little bit and um, I think it was really coming across in the videos. So I took a break from it and I've been filming one for slides and sandals over the past couple of weeks. Um, I got ill last week so it's sort of taken me longer than I thought it was going to. So which is actually, even though I didn't get the video up as soon as I'd hoped, has been a good thing because I've worn a lot of the sandals more than I normally would do in testing basics because I've been wearing them whenever I can even though I haven't always been filming. So I feel like I have um, a good idea about them all as well which I'm very pleased about. For those of you who maybe don't know, in these videos we take five of one item from high street to high end and test them out over a week and I'd let you know which one's my favourite, whether I think it's best to save or spend on these items. So without further rambling, um, let's start with the most affordable pair, which are from Zara. Now, these ones, as you can see, I haven't worn yet. These are a size 40, which they fit true to size. That's what I normally am, a European 40, UK size 7. These were 19.99, and they're from the TR Truffle, you know, the like teenage range. I don't know how you say it. Um, but they're all fabric. What I liked about them is this angular square toe. Um, and there's a fabric tie over the top of it, which does have like metallic y gold threads running through it, but still doesn't look super glitzy or anything. I liked these because the thing that I like, I feel like everyone needs two types of slides in their wardrobe for summer. One that's super, super, super simple, which you're going to wear on your holiday, like nipping down to the beach and for more bold summer outfits if you like wearing colours and things like that. And then some that are a bit more jazzy for when you've just got on your like denim cut-offs and a t-shirt and some nice sunglasses or whatever and then some slides that have a bit of something going on with them will really brighten the whole outfit up a little bit. So um, yeah, that's why I thought these ticked that box. And generally I would say I would always want to save on the latter of that category, so save on the jazzier ones, just because you're probably not going to want to wear them as much next season. So, first thoughts on these, for £20, I think they're pretty good. I think um, maybe for slides we need to talk about, I know a lot of people think struggle to keep them on their feet. I have really, really narrow feet, but don't struggle with it. Something with a fabric bottom is probably going to be easier than, say, something with a leather um, sole to it, because if your feet are cold, if my feet are cold and I'm trying to walk in slides or backless loafers or whatever that are leather inside they will slip out but generally I find when you get walking your feet warm up a little bit and they expand they just stick it's kind of a bit gross but they just stick a little bit better to the shoe and um, I think these are probably going to be easier with it being a fabric to keep on but even though I have quite slim feet I don't struggle keeping them on my feet and I think some people maybe just have feet that are too slim for slides to be an option but i would say these are sort of a regular fit and how wide they fit across the foot um but yeah that was zara at 19.99 next up from there we have top shop and these are actually in the sale at the moment so i paid 22 pounds for these but i just checked them online and they're in sale for 15 pounds so they're kind of technically the cheapest but i didn't pay i paid more than 15 pounds for them they're a pretty um, shameful rip-off of the row uh, sandals, some of you may know them, which are the silk ruched sandals which come, the row is a beautiful brand but it's eye-wateringly expensive, these are definitely heavily inspired by that. Um, they're also in size 40, I think they also come in a different colour as well but I can't remember what colour it is. So yeah, these are all satin on the inside, just the black satin ruched across the top. I really, really like how these fit. Again, I'd say they're kind of normal and how wide they're fitting across the foot. I have no trouble keeping them on. They're really, really classic style, but the ruching and a little bit of texture through the top of the shoe, I think it's a nice detail to it. Um, what else should I say about these? Um, yeah. I guess they're kind of coming cheaper than the Zara ones, aren't they? But I'm still going to keep them in the second cheapest because I paid £22 for these. And as I said, I have these in size 40 as well and they fit true to size. Next up from there we have Mango. Um, these are kind of expensive. These are $59.99, which I thought was quite a lot for Mango. This style of shoe is sort of comes around every summer, I feel. Uh, maybe not to everyone's taste, but the rope sandal is such a thing. And I've never had a pair before, and my theory has been that they would always be so uncomfortable because they would nip and rub in so many different places. Every point where that rope crosses, in my mind, this is going to hit nip my foot and rub and hurt. So I'll let you know if that theory is true or not. That's why I've never bought a pair because I've always just imagined them to be so uncomfortable. 
So yeah, these I have in a size 7. As I said, they're 59.99, so 60 quid. I think that's a lot of money for mango. I think that's a lot of money for some slides. But they do have a nice feel to them. Like, the rope is soft. It's a soft, silky rope. It's not like a hessian, really rough rope. Um, and I like the kind of slight sheen because of its silkiness. The slight sheen through, running through it as well. I think it makes it look a little bit more dressy a bit more eveningy and clumpy slides do look great with lots of like cute florally girly summer dresses things like that i like the fact they've got a bit of a flat form there's a lot aesthetically i like about these i do think they're expensive but i do like them a lot um, and i'm just interested to see whether my theory that rope sandals will be nothing short of agony is true or not so that was mango at 59.99 also size 7. next one up from there we have ancient greek sandals um, these are like a really nice sandal brand because they have so many classic styles and they're very, as the name would suggest, very heavily inspired by the kind of sandals that you can often find for a fraction of this price if you're on holiday in Greece or something like that. You know, when you're in Santorini or something and they have the stalls with them all hung up and they're probably about 10 euros or something. Well, these were £115, so it's a lot of money compared to what they have been inspired by for sure. And they are incredibly, incredibly minimal. So, I mean, first thoughts is that you're not getting much of your money for that. Also had these in a size 40. I got them in this really nice, kind of like a pinky tan sort of colour. Skin toned colour is how I would want to describe it. Um, it's super simple, which I do like. And it just, the strap is just thinner on one side and then thicker at the other. These fall into the category of the kind of side that I personally end up slipping on to go to the beach, to go by the pool in when I'm on holiday. Will actually end up wearing a hell of a lot, but also would have worn this style a lot had I got them for £10, 10 euros in Greece somewhere. So my first thoughts on these is that they're going to have to be pretty miraculous to feel like they're worth that money. But generally, Ancient Greek Sandals is a slides and sandals brand worth having a look at because they do have lots of styles and they have lots of styles that aren't this minimal so don't necessarily feel like such an extravagance for something so simple so generally i would say check out the brand for sandals i got mine off matches fashion um but yeah it even says handmade in greece on the back <laughs> um so these are oh these are the first leather pair as well that we've got here the others have all been fabric as well so these are ancient greek sandals size 40 at 115 pounds and the last pair i have on my feet now these have been sent to me these are the only ones I haven't paid for. They're from Dear Francis. These are £345 and again I have them in a 40. Lots of you will know I'm a big, big fan of Dear Francis. Um, she's been sending me shoes. She was the first um, brand that ever, ever, ever sent me anything through my blog. So she probably sent me something first, I would say about four and a half years ago now. So I've been wearing her shoes for years and years and there's some that I find super comfortable some that aren't as comfortable so I promise this is still going to be an honest review despite the fact that I'm such a fan of the brand and that she sent me them as well um so yeah these are a size 40 they're an olive color they're also available in two different colors leather with the leather sole on the inside and they have this slight block heel these are the only ones that aren't a flat I know the mango ones are on a flat form but these are the only ones that have a bit of a heel to them um, and the heel sticks out slightly wider than the sole of the shoe, which I really like. I have this cage detailing. Uh, Dear Francis shoes, I would generally say, are quite slim fitting. So if you have a slim foot and um, struggle with slides, generally, or just slim feet generally, it is quite a slim fitting brand, which is really nice. But if you didn't, you also obviously have space to breathe <laughs> through these shoes. And yeah, they fit true to size. A really lovely design, something a bit different from just having the, the single strap across, which I quite like as well. So, um, yeah, these are the only ones I haven't paid for. But with Dear Francis, size 40, £345. So, yes, I've been wearing these today as well. Um, but let's get into the next bit now. I'm going to show you how I've worn these shoes um, for the last week or so, and then we'll sit down at the end with you guys and share final thoughts. Hey guys, have on the Dear fans of size today, just with my new vintage Levi's jeans, which I bought in Amsterdam from a shop called Episode. Was that what it was called? It was a really cool shop anyway. Um, and a fiery black t-shirt I've had for years now. This was actually the Testing Basics, I think, one of the first ones I ever did. Um, I absolutely love these slides. They are so comfortable, it's ridiculous. I think they look really like, effortlessly cool with everything. The difference to the ones I've got, I like the fact that they've got like the cagey 
pattern to them and then not just a straight cross one like some of the others that I'm testing out. Um, the colour looks amazing with denim. It just, they look so effortlessly cool and I've just been throwing them on with outfits like this all the time. I've also been wearing today these um, sunglasses. My eyes are still a bit puffy so I've had on these black plastic sunglasses from ASOS which are, I really like because they look really good and they're also incredibly comfortable and lightweight. Um, so yeah, I've just had this is a full look. It's been really simple, but I felt really, really nice in this outfit today. Just running around, doing bits and bobs, but these shoes are just so comfortable. They're amazing. The only bad thing about them, I would say, is that they're um, quite slippery. If you're walking down the carpet and stairs, you've just got to be kind of careful because I've been slid down the stairs in my whole way a couple of times, but that is the only negative thing I can say about them, and they're absolutely fine walking on the streets and everything. It's just specifically like the curved edge of the carpet and stair, which has been catching me out a bit. Hi guys, apologies for the fact I'm looking a bit dishevelled. It's quite late on in the day now. Um, I've had, just tilting down so you can see, had on the Topshop flies today. Um, these are so comfortable, these sides, I really like them. This morning when I was out and about walking, it was quite cold, and I was really struggling to keep my feet. You know how I said at the beginning of the video, when your feet are cold, they're almost like too smooth and shrink a bit. And on the satin of the sole of the shoe, it just became so hard to keep on my feet. Um, but once it's a bit warmer, they're absolutely fine to keep on. They're so comfortable. Love how they look. The only complaint is that if you've got cold feet, you might struggle if you're like me. Um, I've had one with my Levi jeans again, a shirt from Adam Stories, and my Kate denim jacket. Um, just a casual look. I've had like meetings, some people around. This evening, my flat's a tip, oh. um, so I'm going to have to go sort out right now, but these have a positive review from me. Um, they're just really comfortable. I really like how they look. For £15, which is on sale for the moment, I think that's so good. Hey guys, had the, um, uh, what they called? Ancient Greek sandals, that's what they're called. Had those on today with an outfit I really like. I've got a skirt on from Mango, last season Mango, and this, um, Nick from a brand called from Cashmere with Love. Is that what it's called? Pretty sure, I'll link it in the description box. Absolutely love it, it's like a cropped knit. And then the creamy uh, sandals on. And I wore it with my Lebe hammock. And also, where have they gone? These Ray-Ban Clubmasters. I forgot how much I love Ray-Ban Clubmasters. These are the second time I've worn these sandals. Um, and walked them quite a bit. Both times they've rubbed in the same place on the left foot, on the outside of my big toe, and across the top of my foot. Now, the first time I wore them, it did it on the top of my foot until it bled, whereas today it hasn't been as bad. So they're definitely breaking in, but it's still like I could walk for a lot, lot longer with these right now, but it is breaking the skin a little bit. So the right foot's absolutely fine, it's just the left foot. So yeah, they're not the most comfortable. The, the edge of the leather is just quite hard. Um, I love how they look. As I said at the beginning, I think I'll end up taking them a lot of holidays and wearing them a lot, but to say they're not comfortable, or definitely not as comfortable as the Dear Francis ones and the Topshop ones, they're definitely just not worth the money. I don't think, even though I like how they look, I think any cream sandal would look as nice with this outfit. It doesn't have to be over £100 at all. Hey guys, how are you? Mango ones this morning. I've got just nipped drop off film. These are awful. Like, I cannot wait to get them on my feet. They're so heavy and clumpy that they're really hard to get on my feet. But then the, the way that the rope holds them on my feet means that they it really rubs and pinches. Like they've all, I've literally probably walked for 15 minutes. They've already got red marks all over my feet. Like all over the top of the feet, they've also got a black mark on the side of my toe where the dye is rubbed off. Like, they're so. I was walking, you know, if you, if you saw me walking, you'd be like, Those girl, that girl's shoes are hurting her. Because I was walking, you can't walk normally in them. They're so uncomfortable. I like how they look and everything, but they're literally like. They're just so heavy and so hard to keep on. So these are definitely my least favorite stuff. I've just had them on with some. Um, Weekday jeans, my weekday road jeans, so I'll have a t shirt from last year and my and other stories cropped jacket. It's actually way too hot for this outfit, so I need to get changed entirely altogether. But I've probably worn these for 20 minutes in total. And I can't even, they're not going to give, are they? It's not like leather where it's going to soften, it's rope, so they're not going to change. 
and it's the rope and the heaviness which make them uncomfortable and even those flat doesn't change no matter how much you wear them. So yeah, not liking these. Hey guys, I've had on the Zara ones, I've just got back in. Oh my gosh, I've walked miles. This is the same, the more, this is later on in the day from you, you've just seen me having on the mango ones because I was going to wear the mango ones today and obviously lasted a morning in them. So the Zara ones have gone straight on quite sore feet and I have had no issues. I've walked all the way to Mayfair, which is about an hour's walk. It's me out of breath because I've also just got those bloody stairs. I've had them on with my Reformation silk skirt that I wear all the time. Topshop t-shirt, Kate Dunn jacket, and then my Ray-Ban Clubmasters again. Um, really like how they look with bare legs. I think they're really flattering. They've been so comfortable. And as I said, like, I have some very flat, fresh blisters on my feet from the mango ones this morning, and they've been absolutely fine. Oh my God, I need to catch my breath. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so, so, so pleased with these. Um, I think they're definitely a state of the piece. Like they're not going to work styling wise and everything, but for the price of them, that's absolutely fine by me. They're fun and they look great. And for 20 quid, they're just really good. Can't really fault them. They've been so comfortable. Final thoughts. And before we start, as soon as I finish filming this, I swear to God, I'm going to go water this plant. And I do do my, I do try and look after the plants that I have in my house. And in my defence, I've had this one for like a year now, nearly. And it grows and it lives. It just also, it also looks slightly sad all the time. So I'm going to go water that next because I know someone's going to comment like, please look after the plants in your house. Anyway, um, final thoughts. Last place, no surprises, mango torture devices. Um, just no on every level to these. They were ridiculously expensive, I think, for what they are anyway. They're so heavy, they're so uncomfortable. It's like, it does pinch at every point in the foot. I've got like red marks all over my feet now and tiny, tiny little blisters, literally like four tiny little blisters from these. So these, just no, just rope sandals for me. I mean, I do see a lot of people wearing them and maybe there are people out there who do find them comfortable. But I think for me, it's not going to be something that I ever delve into again. Yes, they look great, but nowhere near good enough to warrant how painful these ones were. So, um, yeah, no, that's the last place. Second to last place is going to be ancient Greek sandals. Talk about overpriced. Um, £100 for something so simple and for something that did hurt. The mango ones I categorically will not go on to wear. A, because they're too heavy to pack in a suitcase to go on holiday. B, because they're too uncomfortable. These I will wear, like I'm going away on Wednesday with my mum. I will take these with me. So um, I think I'll end up getting more wear out of them. I just don't think you need to go and spend this much money on them at all. But I do still stand by the fact that I think this is a good brand for sandals if you are in the market for like a brand that has a lot of choice. So it's worth checking out. But for say these were over £100, I liked how they looked and everything but I realistically like they could be 20 quid or even if they were like 50 quid or whatever but over 100 is just too much um, but we'll go on to wear them like I said and I do like the colour just don't like it 100 pounds worth third place is going to be the Zara ones these are really really comfortable I really enjoyed wearing them they're kind of fun and I like the fact that you can get something fun for 20 quid and it's like I won't wear these next season. I'll probably sell them on my Depop, you know, next summer or something. They won't come out year after year, but they're so much fun to wear and they were really, really, really comfortable. Probably one of the most, well, definitely the next three were all really comfortable. Um, and I wore these after the mango ones and my feet had all the blisters on and even then they were still comfortable despite having blistered feet. And yeah, they kind of, they feel cheap. Like they don't feel that special. But I still really like them and they're not going to last a lifetime, but fair enough is what I feel about them. Um, so I think for one season, if you like the look of them, I would definitely recommend them. They're fun to style. I can imagine these with like your hair up off your face and some gold jewellery and an oversized shirt dress just on holiday. So simple, it would look so chic. I think they're going to be great for that and you could easily get lots of wear out of them throughout the summer. Um, so yeah, I'm chuffed with these. Again, I'll take these away with me. In second place, we're going to put the Dear Francis ones. As always, I'm never surprised when I am a big fan of the shoes that um, Jane Francis makes because I'm a big fan of the brand, as you all know. These are so, so, so comfortable. These are probably the most comfortable ones we have here. Um, and the finish of them is beautiful. Yes, it's an expensive shoe brand, but they feel expensive. They look expensive. The sole of the shoe is slightly padded. Like the way the heel is that gorgeous shape. The leather is beautiful. 
they're so elegant on the foot i kind of like the fact it's an almost like slightly old ladyish vibe to it i've been loving how they look with jeans and t-shirts um and yeah all in all absolutely love them and know that i will wear these to death throughout the summer and many summers to come um i think they're absolutely amazing and um i know i said at the beginning that these were sent to me i didn't pay for them however i would part with this much money for them i just think they're 100 percent worth it uh they are definitely very very slim fitting so do bear that in mind if you have a wider foot you might struggle with them they're a slim fitting shoe but they're just so comfortable and so beautiful and they feel luxurious and everything yeah i really 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 like them really pleased with them and how they've looked with everything and just so many positive things to say about them i've worn these a lot as well i've just got back from copenhagen and they came with me to copenhagen so these have been probably worn the most out of all the ones that i have so far and they're still just getting better and better and um, that leaves me first place with the top shop one just because i can't really fault them to say they were 20 quid now down to 15. there was one day that i wore again i've worn these quite a few times there was one day i wore them when it was a little bit cold and i was really struggling to keep them on my feet so do bear that in mind i think because it's the satin there's just nothing for your foot to grip on when it was cold um however any other time i've worn them when it's been warmer and they've been so comfortable so easy to wear i love how they look i think like the width of the the band of the slide is just really nice they're so simple but i like the fact that it's got the texture from the ruching which just makes it that tiny bit more interesting when you're wearing them um yeah they're just i think it's just such a good shoe for such a good price and such an easy style to wear because it's a simple classic black slide but you really don't need to go and spend a fortune on something so simple i think the ancient greek sandal ones have really proven that when it's something as minimal as this one with you know not tons basically they're, they're heavily inspired by the row i would never go and spend the price that the row asks for something like this because it doesn't need to be mega expensive like it just works at this price and there's no fault with this apart from the fact that as i said when it was cold my foot slid out but i could spend over 100 pounds on a satin shoe where the same thing would happen so yeah really 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 chuffed with these Topshop ones and again we'll definitely wear these a lot through the summer partly because they're so easy to wear obviously but highly 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 recommend them and yeah that concludes this testing basics thank you so much for watching guys i've really enjoyed filming this one i feel like i got my mojo back with it and um, please let me know which ones you would like to see next it's all in like summer stuff now so if there's any summer things that you'd really really like to see maybe i, I don't i'm not even going to leave any suggestions what could we do though now i will say some suggestions we could do denim skirts we could do denim shorts um we could do a certain type of heeled shoe like a two strap sandal i have quite a few of them already though um what else oh well you guys just leave suggestions let me know what we'd like to see thank you so much for watching as always links for everything will be in the description box and i'll see you in the next one